I was disgusted. You know, meth is destroying so many people. It's one of the worst epidemics we've had of drugs for, for years. And anyone who is doing anything that would encourage people to use meth, it's antisocial. Uh, it's not what a good business should even be thinking about. They should be taking those out, meth pipes out of their stores right now. In the midst of Winnipeg's meth use problem, pipes like this are popping up in convenience stores near youth centres and schools, upsetting Winnipeggers. It's really shocking to see that because it's like they're trying to encourage our community to smoke methamphetamine. And like that's what scares me the most because I personally work with a lot of young people and um, they're making it easy access. Daniels posted on Facebook that she found the item at Lucky Lotto Food Store on Notre Dame Avenue in the same block as Principal Sparling School. I know that they sell them in like smoke shops and stuff and that's fine like you know like, like regardless people are, are you know have addictions and they're going to use but I don't think that it should be allowed in convenience stores where you know there's kids that come there on a daily basis and you know buying candy and then there's these meth pipes right in front of their face like that's not okay you know that's what that's what scares me is that there's young people that are seeing this and thinking that that it's not a big deal because oh they sell them right here it's, it's fine a manager at lucky lotto food store hung up on me when i introduced myself as a reporter but video 1001 which is next to a youth drop-in center also sells the pipe a worker at the store didn't want to comment on camera but said the item is popular and the store has had issues with people on meth. He said he didn't know what the pipes were, but after being asked if he'd continue to sell them, he said people find a way to shoot up anyway. Police said some people use broken light bulbs. Daniels would like to see stricter rules around where pipes can be sold and Burroughs wants to take a different approach. I think what it is is social pressure. People like myself and other neighbours going in and saying, hey, if you want to do business in my community, get that stuff off your shelves or we'll tell everybody not to shop with you. And most people are socially responsible and if they find out somebody is selling drug paraphernalia, particularly anything to do with meth, uh, people will stop shopping there. Police say devices like this are often used to smoke marijuana. Online, the Happy Valentine Glass Rose Company says it's used to inhale or smoke, quote, your favorite snuff. And by the way, I just bought this so I could look at it, but it's going in the garbage. In Winnipeg, Stephanie LeSouk, City News.